Welcome back, everybody. We are still here working on our zombie cathedral. So last time we kind of got the interior straightened up. So along here, I'm going to do, I don't want it there, I want it right, like here. I'm going to put these uh, candles, kind of alternate colors. And that'll give it a more churchy look, I guess. But you always got to have candles and stuff. Like that. See, I have them there, and then I'll just do... This might be quicker. Yeah, that's going to be much quicker if I put down the chains first. And then we'll put down the color. Color. I'm alternating. I'm doing the green and the blue because those are, you know, zombie colors. Like there. And then we'll just do the same thing over on this side. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of tiny little details that I'm going to need to do. That I'm not even realizing because these uh, candles were not in my original design. But I got looking and thought there needed to be something going along and I think the candles does it. So I'm probably going to be adding, you know, like little banners and all that kind of stuff around here. Yeah, and I think that actually helps already. Got this big wide open area. And then we come up here and this is going to be where the pulpit is. And I'm also deviating from my original design because uh, I didn't have this underground stairway here. Do this and then it's like that. And then I did have like honey blocks there. I had a couple light blocks here. And then this is where things get a little trickier. I have like a door here and a door there. Like that. There. So what I need What I need to do, let's see if I can get this. So I had a couple of these here. Oh, I forgot. There. I need to get a couple uh, enchanting tables. That goes there. Oh, dang it. And actually, enchanting tables can go here. That's fine. Yeah, there. Oh, I had that right, didn't I? Chanting table there, and then actually, we're going to have this box thing because I'm going to have a villager or somebody here. And if I've got these uh, 
honey blocks here. No one can jump. So let me get that last bit. Don't need this or this. Oh, I do need that. So a couple zombie banners. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to do this there. Which probably means I need to get rid of this and maybe put in a um, like a spruce block there. And then maybe like a candle. I may have to make more candles. Then we get up here. I have my two enchanting tables. So I should be able to place it right there. We'll go on top. Huh, maybe not. Let's do this. There we go. Yeah, maybe something like that. Can I put banners there? Yeah, something like that maybe. And here, can I do, oh, I can, that's good. So I could put a big cluster. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I do like the way that looks. And then I can put another, let's put another one there here. I kind of like the clusters of them. So that is the altar or yeah, the pulpit, excuse me, pulpit altar. So I would um, deposit a zombie right here. Or if not a zombie, maybe a um, like a cleric or somebody. Oh yeah, clerics were. I was thinking librarians, but I think clerics would be better. So I get a couple clerics. So I'm going to have to do some uh, villager breeding, I think. I got a bunch of villagers down there. So I, once I get them up here, I think there's enough beds and stuff. They will start breeding on their own. But if not, I, I can make a small villager breeder for them. But I'll put one cleric here, and that will be the priest. And I'm debating whether to do a zombie cleric or just a normal cleric. I mean, if the zombie is your god, then a zombie would the, a zombie cleric be in God's image? I'm getting too philosophical there. Too philosophical there. We're not going to worry about that. I'm just going to think of what looks good. And actually, maybe the zombie cleric actually looks much better. Be a bit more impressive if everyone in here was zombies and there was no villagers. Although, it goes against the lore I've built of the other ones. Because the villagers are the actual... Villagers are the ones running the church. So maybe I will just leave normal villagers in charge here. But I am still going to go with the zombie uh, choirs. So there will be a set of zombies on either side over here. Well, speaking of choirs, I'm going to need to build the choirs. Okay, that took that took a long time. I had to AFK to get a bunch of honey bottles so I could make these honey blocks. So
And I need these honey blocks because I'm going to have my choir standing on these blocks. So, because I, uh, I'm using them so they don't jump out and run away. So we'll do it like this. So we'll have honey block. Oops, can't jump. There. So here, let's do. There, there. So here. There. Like that. There. So we'll have these little uh, places they can stand. You can't—they can't jump out, so that'll be fine. So you can't jump out on here. We'll have one there, and we'll have one there. Speaking of which, like that. There, looks like one gigantic spruce box. Oh. That should be okay. It'll look better once we have, we're gonna have 18 18 zombies here? That's quite a few. Oh well. I'm hoping they'll stay in one spot. I don't know if they will. But I will. Uh, I'll see what I can do about that. At least I'll have them in here. And then we'll have the same thing over on this side. I may have to make some more spruce. Because uh, that's a lot. I have, well, I only have 11, yeah, so I'm going to have to make some more spruce uh, trap doors there. Ooh. I think I have. Oh, I'm going to have to make some more of these. I need some more there. I think I need six. So I'm just a little short. I wonder if I do that. I wonder, it may actually look better if I do this. Like that. Does that look better? Yeah, yeah, I think that actually looks better. Then it just looks like there's a partition in the front. And then the choir all goes in there. It's looking the other way. There's way too much spruce. And I really don't need that many of them.
also solves my uh, my problem up here in the front where I needed uh, six of them I got ten so I should be good there yeah as I come in here I think it yeah it looks a lot better with that cobblestone stairs there because that would just be all a big blob of spruce right there and I think it looks good having the cobblestone just give you a nice line of sight through here do that and then like that And then I am going to put just a few sets of candles in front. Oops, come on. There we go. Where does this go? Does that go there? I think. See how that looks. Well, that doesn't look half as bad as I thought it might. So then I can do the same thing over on this side. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to look uh, gothic cathedral-like. Lots of candles. Got these little uh, cubby holes and places where people sit and stand and do all that. Got our giant pulpit right there. Perfectly outlined with uh, the giant zombie. Enough lights through here. I think... Just a few other touches. Maybe. Because I often see like little plants or bushes or some flowers or something like that. But they wouldn't have flowers in here. So I'm going with these uh, nether, nether type plants. That way it kind of un, 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 unclutters it, kind of clutters it up a bit. It's a little too uncluttered. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that'll be fine. It's not too much. It's starting, it's close. It's starting to get too much. But not quite. And then I can put one like here and here. They are just a little bit, little things, just the little things. Okay, just a couple more items or more things before I call it a day. I'm going to do... Oops. Yeah, that's that's correct, but in the wrong spot. What I'm doing is got these banners here. And if you position them position them just right, you end up with the zombie. The head gets a little tall up here, so I put another row of banners up top. Yeah. 
almost looks like it's supposed to be there. See, it gets a little too tall. So there. So then you got a very simple zombie-ish zombie -ish, uh, set of banners there. I also have some actual zombie banners. But I thought these might go like here. Yeah, like that. Oops, that one needs to be up a little. I mean, it's not like the Stations of the Cross going around, but this will work. There. This is awful dark. I'm going to have to try this pattern in white. I borrowed it from the internet. So I'm not claiming it is my own, but you do this like uh, skull and crossbones and creeper head and then a couple other things. I did add in this darker blue down here. That was not in the original. I think it may work on white too. I'm going to have to try that. I do take uh, full credit for this... Uh, the zombie look here. On these, it might maybe gray. Maybe a gray banner would look better on those. Yeah, and I don't know what to do on. Oh, maybe if I do a gray. Let me try a gray banner. See how that looks. Yeah, that works much better with the um, the gray up there. You can almost, it almost blends in perfectly. You don't even notice it. So I got the little pseudo zombie banners there. I had these other banners up top. Got another one there. So we got a few banners and I did the same thing over there. Move those in. So it kind of goes on either side of the door as pillars. And actually, with the shading, that almost <laughs> doesn't even look like it's banners there. So I think that takes care of this interior here. Not much more I need to do in this place. I think this is looking pretty good. So I think I'm going to call it a day for now. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you're having a great day. And we will continue working on this in the next episode. So until later, bye-bye.